Hey everyone, another progress. I actually decided to go and make the transform class. So I made a transform class, but for that I had to create a matrix class. So as you can see, I have a matrix tree and matrix is always very complicated, like not exactly complicated if you understand the math, but it takes a lot of code to have it specifically like the inverse and the determinant and it's weird but it is here and i do and i had to create a vector tree math too because in order to do um, matrix versus vector multiplication i need to have a, a vector tree to multiply by a matrix tree you know and then i can always down cast and up cast to vector two normalizing the vector anyways with this z axis so i've created this three things the matrix the vector tree and the transform and the implementation as you can see transform implementation simple and then i modify the shader to receive a transform and then multiply by the position in order to use it that means that i can go ahead and create a transform here can change the scale of the transform and then i can do some stuff like rotate it and move it so if i play the game You can see the cube. As you can see, there's no camera yet, so the aspect ratio is wrong, but this is fine. But I can move it, and if I rotate it, it works. And I can move it local to the rotation, which is very nice, as you can see. And let me test this live here. Oops. Uh, let me actually change this to a non-square shaped rectangle so it is now stretched and technically everything should work just fine and as you can see it is not working just fine and this is probably like the way I rotate I, I'm I do the math I like to do some stuff live here so let, let me actually fix this um, I actually left this on purpose here because I knew that I will probably mess up somewhere. Let me just... Mm, I forgot. I, I always forgot the order. And if I keep messing this up, I'm probably going to look up the order in cave. So I believe this makes more sense now. Scale first, then rotation and position. No, there's actually position, rotation, and scale. Hmm. I don't know. Let me try this. <laughs> yes, this is now correct. So as you can see, I'm rotating this and it is working. Whee! So this is almost a car, right? Great. So that's it. It's very simple. The fix was obvious as, uh, as it saw, just saw. And uh, when it comes to math, there's a lot of those small things that really takes time and it takes a lot of effort to fix. So that's annoying. Uh, what's next? What's next? Well, I'm probably going to do model, not model because I don't want to do 3D stuff, but texture loading. I want to load like PNG files from disk. And I use this Sam Barrett's library for that. I'm, I don't think I write a PNG parser myself for this uh, nah nah not doing this and i'm probably going to do the same for audio and audio is my weak point i'm very bad at audio so let's see how it goes and that's probably why i will uh, handle that first i will create like an audio device and then i'll handle this you know but that's it let's go ahead and implement all that and i will be back in a moment for you guys and in an eternity <laughs> Uh, for me, so let's go.